Okay, so before we even get started on this video, please, please, please understand that the reason I am stopping using some of these products isn't because they aren't good or don't work well. It's just going to be for various reasons I have found maybe the price or that they're a one-use item. It does not mean the product is not good. Hi, my name is Fallon and I love to quilt and I set a lot of quilting goals this year. One of my goals is to finish my unfinished quilt projects. Well, not all of them, just at least a big chunk of them. I also set a goal to use what I have in my stash to make quilts and try not to purchase a ton of extra fabric this year. Try not to. <laughs> And then I also set a goal to try to quit using one use quilting notion products or um, products just because they're a name brand that is really popular in the quilting world, just so that I can hopefully save a little bit of money. There's so many products out there that cost a lot and then there's something similar out there that is a lot more cost effective so I'm going to try to focus on that this year so I can save money on this hobby that I have and the thing is is this can cost a lot of money to quilt and with the economy right now saving money is really important to me so the first quilt notion that I am going to quit using this year is 505 spray I I really love spray basting quilts because I feel like it goes a lot faster than pin basting, but one can of this is quite pricey and I can probably only baste one and a half large quilts with it. Quite a few smaller quilts, but it's also just not great for you, the smell and everything. So I decided I am going to make this my last bottle of 505 spray that I'm purchasing and I'm going to go to pin basting my quilts. I, I will tell you, I don't love pin basting quilts. I feel like it can get really monotonous opening and closing all these safety pins and it really slows you down a little bit when quilting. However, I have noticed that my quilts are turning a lot out a lot nicer now that I went back to pin basting. I feel like I don't get as much bunching in my quilts anymore because I can smooth them out a lot easier using the pins. I start in the middle pin and then spread out the top with my hands making sure it is nice and even and put some more pins in. So while I do think it takes longer, I do think I actually get better results and I can use these over and over. I don't have to keep buying bottles of the spray based. All right, so the second quilting notion that I am going to quit purchasing this year is the triangles on a roll, the triangle papers. I absolutely think that they are a lot quicker to use if you're using the same fabrics over and over again, especially. You can do these really quick, trim them really quick, get perfect half square triangles much faster, but I really don't love the idea of this one use product. I feel like it's a lot of paper waste and while it maybe is faster, taking my time and doing another method is a little bit more relaxing, honestly, and a lot cheaper on the budget because if you are needing to make a lot of the half square triangles and purchase a lot of these papers and use them just one time, it really adds up. So after I use these up for a project, I am going to move on from those and just do them on my own with the two at a time method. So the third item that I spend a lot of money on is the Acorn Easy Press Pen Refills. I go through these so quickly because I quilt so often. I love using it on seams, so I definitely fell into the Easy Press Pen craze hard. Love the stuff, love it so much but I spend so much money on refilling them. So what I decided to do was I already had one of those clover pins. It is very similar in style to the Easy Press pin. 
This is used to, um, there's a liquid solution you can put in it to make folding fabric easier. So I decided to just grab some liquid starch. This jug was under $4 at Walmart and I did a half and half mixture of it and put it in this pen and it works very nicely. I get a nice crisp seam just like I do with the Easy Press pen. Now I will say this liquid starch, you want it to dry all of the way before you add heat to it or you will get some residue left behind. I do think the residue will just wash away. However, if you don't like the way that looks when you are working, just make sure to let the starch dry all the way before you press it. What I usually do, because often if I'm making half square triangles, I have to make hundreds of them. I will press them, add the starch to the seam, and just keep, keep pressing all of my half square triangles till I have a ton laid out and have the starch on them. I go back to the first ones that are usually dry after I get a lot of them laid out and I can start pressing them and getting nice flat seams. So that's kind of how I've been working with this. And since I have so many projects I need to finish, it's kind of nice that I'm working a little bit slower on something instead of getting another project that I just need to finish. So the fourth item I am quitting kind of links back to the Easy Press pen. Um, another starch that I use a lot is Best Press, and I love Best Press. I have used it for a long time, but this jug is $50. And this starch is $4, a little under $4, and it's a concentrated mixture. And honestly, when I mix this with half starch and half water in a spray bottle, um, it is still a heavier starch than this. So I think it's gonna last me a lot longer and it's a much better price and it works just as well, honestly. So an easy way to save money is to make that switch. Now, if you love Best Press and you don't like any other liquid starches, maybe it won't work for you, but I find that it's been working really well for me. All right, so the next and final item that I'm quitting is kind of just a silly one. It really is. But I don't know, I really need to rein it in because I have so many different marking tools laying everywhere. I keep purchasing all these different marking pins that I hear about that are supposed to be great. They disappear. There are different types of chalk. There's, there's, there's so many of them that come on the market or that I hear about in some way and I purchase it and want to try it. And it's just money adding up when I already have a ton of different marking utensils for quilting. And honestly, one that I use a lot is just a regular pencil. I mean, they work well for marking most things, especially if you're just drawing a line from corner to corner on the back of a square to do two at a time half square triangles. You don't need a fancy quilting marking pen. You can just use a pencil for that. So I'm gonna rein in those purchases. Whenever I see this awesome new quilting marking pen or pencil. I just need to say, Fallon, you have a bunch of them already. Look in your drawers. <laughs> so what do you think of my list of items that I am going to try not to purchase anymore, especially this year and kind of rein in my spending? Is there anything that you have been trying to quit purchasing? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.